machine gun Kelly's hairline and hair transplant. Everybody's asking about it. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Dr. Parsa Mohebi, medical director and founder of Parsa Mohebi Hair Restoration. Machine Gun Kelly, MGK, a young uh, singer who started early on, early 20s uh, with the first songs and uh, he had kind of relatively a good head of hair for that age but as most people start losing hair at early 20s, most Caucasian at least do, um, he started receding some hair on the corners to the point that uh, he looked uh, a lot older than his actual age. When you look at some of the pictures that he has, at early ages, um, he has uh, some recession as, as about, at about 2012, which um, is the year that he was 22. He had some corner recession, almost like a mature hairline, a little bit more than a mature hairline, uh, going a little bit further than what we expect to see from a male Caucasian. And then as we go forward in the year 2015, we see that hairline is going completely uh, like a good two, three centimeters above where he should be, to the point that he was obviously looking bald. And then um, when we follow up on the future uh, photos, we see that at some point his hairline comes back down and actually too low for his age. When we do hair transplant, we don't necessarily restore a juvenile hairline. We want to give a hairline that's good for a man at age 20, mid 20s, 30s, 40s, and 60s and 70s because transplanted hair does not move anymore, does not mature anymore. So wherever we put it, it stays there for the rest of people's lives. Sometimes patients push um, a doctor to give them a juvenile hairline. I don't recommend that. So to uh, summarize uh, his before and after picture, if you look at it, uh, you see that uh, he has the frontal hair always a little bit more um, solid and then the corners went back. And then as they brought the corners down, they also reinforced the frontal hairline. And when we look at the after hair transplant pictures, we see that he has a solid hairline, almost too linear, um, so you can connect the dots. That's something that we can detect the hair trans transplanted hair that's not planned well. And then the front of the hairline is too low for a man, uh, for a Caucasian, adult Caucasian, because um, that hairline is gonna be there for the rest of uh, the person's life. 